Today, we are taking a look at my LEGO Star Wars droid army with nearly 200 minifigures, 26 builds, and tons of extra pieces. Now, we are going to dive into all of it, but first, remember to smash that like button and I will show up to your house dressed up like Captain Rex and give you a droid puppet show just like in the Clone Wars. Roger, roger. Now, real quickly, we have over 100 battle droids, just the plane variant right here, and this is going to take a while to get through, so we're going have chapters down below if you just want to see vehicles or if you want to see the minifigures or whatever you want I'll leave that there for you to skip around with that said let's get into it so starting off leading our droid army not the head of the droid army but certainly a really cool character Jango Fett since this year is the year of the Fets, uh, with the Book of Boba Fett and everything, I thought it would be appropriate to have him. He has some special Brick Arms West Star Blasters, which look really cool on him, and I wanted to showcase him here. Uh, also next to him, you do have the Droid General, General Grievous. Uh, a lot of people ask, you know, where do you get the capes? It's from the website, The Cape Cantina. It's actually a really great piece. I really, really like it. And then moving on next to him, we have Darth Maul in his amazing 2013 Mandalore appearance. Obviously, very, very rare, very expensive. Unfortunately for mine, if you turn around the head, there is a giant crack there, which, ugh, that's sad. You also have Darth Sidious. I feel like he should count. You also have Newt Gunray, Savage. And I also have some Poggles. Now, moving over, we have the legend Count Dooku. I cannot believe they have not made a Count Dooku since 2013. This figure right here is nine years old. It's coming up on 10 years since we've last gotten him. A main Sith Lord. The last time we got him, he had a silver lightsaber still, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, and then moving on, we also have Darth Maul. He did lead the droids in episode one. Another Newt Gunray. And I have Cad Bane. He did command a droid force in the club. Clone Wars, which is important to remember, uh, so I want you all to remember, we also have another Django Fett minifigure, and Bosk, because he is a Separatist hero in the game Battlefront 2. We also here have my custom interpretation of Kalani, the super ba or super commander droid. Uh, I just think it kind of looks cool. Uh, this isn't Kalani exactly, he's green, uh, but this one is, is, I believe, the one from uh, the beginning, Yurbana, your, of the Clone Wars Season 7, uh, Yurbana. It's very cool, you know, not the coolest thing, it's kind of derpy looking, I'll admit. You also do have White General Greaves. I have three of him, actually four, one of them is sealed in a uh, Starfighter, which I, again, have sealed. Uh, and then moving back behind him, you do have some of the Assassin Droids. You also over here do have plenty of Geonosians. We have, again, three Poggles, which is, you know, more than mo most people have. I've gotten them in a handful of extra lots. I had the original set too. We also have three regular Geonosians. We also have two zombie Geonosians, which, ooh, these guys are really detailed and really spooky, like really weird. Uh, you know, you get them, they're, they're interesting. I'm kind of shocked Lego actually did them. It's cool to have zombies though. You also do have six commando droids, or eight commando droids, one of which is the one from Count Dooku's Solar Sailor. Um, I accidentally broke him apart there. And, you know, I've given them some cool things. They have their vibro blades, which is actually really cool. Uh, and, you know, other ones are really decked out. He's probably my favorite one out of all of them. Over here, we also have the blue pilot droids, famous for driving the AATs back in the 2013 set. You also have two of the yellow commanders. Now, moving back, we do have I don't know what to call these guys. They're sometimes called pilots, sometimes just called regular battle droids, other times called Kashyyyk droids. So I'm gonna call them Kashyyyk because they're gr uh, green. That, and that's where they first came in. So I'm gonna go off of that. We also over there have the Geonosis and Jetpack droids. We have a good number of them actually. I believe we have a total of about 16. We have one of them is a commander. We have some just regular Geo droids. And then we have the rocket droids here, some of my least favorite battle droids, as many of you know. Quite honestly, they're like the bomb squad trooper of uh, battle droids. Just nobody really wants them. They weren't really relevant for too long. They were in like one arc of the malevolence and they came in a very trash set. I'm, I'm looking at you over there, hyena bomber. Over here, we're looking at some pretty old battle droids. Uh, they've, I, I've actually acquired this year. I got them in a haul. Uh, this guy, he's like a weird shade of pink or green or, or I don't I don't even know what color is that. It, it's like weird. He also have a commander. He's not that old. We also have this guy. He has this old blue print on him. And we also have this guy. And actually, I just realized this is the sand color that they used for Geonosis guys back then. That's what that is. Uh, and then this is just a new guy. That's nothing new. And then finally, of course, 
my 100 B1 battle droids. Now, this is not every single one. I have a handful of them lying around, probably about 10, so I realistically have like 110. On this base plate right now are 101. There are two up here, 99 there. Uh, and, oh, it's a beautiful number. There's nine on this row and 11 on this row, so that's how I got that number. Again, plus the two. Just great to look at. I love seeing, like, this shot where I can just have a solid shot full of battle droids. And it looks solid. They're only packed together. Not not too much. They only have one stud in between them. Uh, and there's only two studs behind each of them. Uh, so they're not, like, crazily done. There's no crazy camera angles here. There's just a nice amount of battle droids. And I could have made it look like more, but really, I didn't feel like it was necessary. Now, with that said, let's get into the vehicles. So now we are moving on into the vehicles. Uh, starting right over here with one of our most recent Separatist vehicles, the Soulless One, General Grievous' Starfighter. A great set, much smaller than you would think, to be 100% honest. It's like not very big, uh, but it still is pretty cool. Uh, now moving on to another one here, we do have a little dwarf spider droid. Uh, this one I believe came out back in a 2015 set. Not very exciting. Move over here. We have a droid army, which is pretty much double the droid army. Uh, we have two of these guys, two of these guys, and a sniper one uh, from the ATRT back in 2013 over there. Uh, and obviously one of them is missing a back leg. Uh, we also have this one. This one I got this year. Uh, this is a custom crab droid from Republic Bricks. And it's really nice looking. I think it was five, ten bucks. Uh, really great deal. Really cool. Uh, here is the uh, staff that comes with the MTT. Uh, moving over, we also do have the snail tanks. I love these guys. They both came out in 2013. I think they were both in my last droid army video. One that I always have a hard time debating on whether I should put it in, uh, the Phantom. It is a separatist vehicle. It is a centipede class shuttle, uh, the most recent version of that, but it is, again, Rebels themed, so I'll throw it in a Rebels video too, because why not? Here we have one of my first LEGO Star Wars sets. Uh, I believe this is the 2014 AAT. I believe it's 2014. Uh, yeah, it had the Rebels logo on the box. Uh, now moving on, we do have this little guy. He came in the 2000 and I believe ATTE. Very cool set. Moving over here, we have my two uh, Vulture class in in impenetrable bomber types. Uh, very cool, like these guys a lot, very neat. Uh, moving on with more of the CIS stuff. We have our AATs, I actually have a fourth one sealed, I have yet to open, um, but I will be doing that soon. Great set, this is the last year it is going to be in stock. Very, very sad. Moving up, we have our fighters. I am not a fan of droid fighters. I just think they look bad. They don't like they look like Star Wars vehicles. Uh, we have the Vulture droid, which yes, I know is built wrong. And the Bomber, which is just, I believe, one of the worst sets. It doesn't even come with one official minifigure. It comes with battle droids. And then over here, we also do have General Grievous' wheel bike. I remember getting this one very well. And then we also do, over here, have one of the most oversized models ever this is general grievous's uh speeder it is so oversized like holy cow this this thing is ridiculous and yeah guys that is my droid arsenal this is everything we have that comes in and a quick note we also do have all of these droid parts uh i'm just missing basic things i'm missing legs for super battle droids i'm missing some minor parts uh, I have plenty of droid parts, it's just I, I was not able to fully complete my collection here. Uh, but yeah, very cool army overall, I like it a lot. Now, what is the purpose of having all of these? The purpose of a battle droid army really is just to have guys to combat your clone troopers. I mean, let's be honest, all of us really just love these guys so that way they could fight the clone minifigures. Uh, you know, you need to have opponents when you're fighting them, and they are the only real significant opponents in the Clone Wars. Uh, now, battle droids are not like the most exciting army builder for me. There are some people out there who love battle droid army building. I am not one of those people. This is not an army I've heavily focused on. Uh, and if you do want to do army droid battle building, whatever, I just botched that sentence. But if you want to do that, this is actually one of the cheapest ways to army build. Battle droids are usually around 253 a pop on BrickLink and all these websites, so they are not incredibly expensive individual minifigures to get. Uh, you know, actually, they have been pretty tough in recent years 
for most of the variant battle droids, the only ones we have gotten recently have been the regular style battle droids, the regular tan ones, as well as those pilot ones. That's basically it. We have not gotten commando droids in a very long time. I believe in nine years. Same exact rule applies for the super battle droids. I believe they haven't come out in seven years. We haven't gotten a droidka as far as I'm aware, probably since 2014, 2015. And we haven't even gotten a Count Dooku since 2013, one of the main Sith Lords we have not gotten in LEGO since 2013. Can you believe that? And this is my problem with modern LEGO Star Wars. They're doing lots of new clone stuff, which is fantastic, but they're kind of forgetting to give them enemies. The only enemy they have been releasing is General Grievous. They've put him in this new oversized speeder, which is relatively new. It came out in 2018, uh, but that was a General Grievous set. They gave him the Soulless One. They've given him his giant roller speeder thing. But they, other than him, they don't really give anything to anyone. We haven't gotten Jango Fett in about seven years. We haven't gotten Count Dooku again in a while. We haven't gotten Cad Bane in a while, if you count him. Newt Gunray, not that many people care, but we haven't gotten him very much either. So really, my ask from LEGO, if they're watching this video, please make more droid army stuff. I want stuff to fight my clone tanks. Supposedly later this year, we're getting an ATTE. We've gotten plenty of clone sets. I love them. They are beautiful. Keep making them. Uh, but we got to give them enemies too. The only one really available right now is the AAT. And I will leave an affiliate link to Amazon if you want to buy that. It's on sale now. This is retiring at the end of the year. Last chance for probably a decently long time. It took them about five to six years just to get out a new AAT. So if you want to wait five to six years, sure, if you haven't gotten one already. Uh, but I'd honestly recommend checking those out. And like General Grievous just retired last year. And this thing, this thing right here, if you want it sealed, it's already going for over $150, which is quite frankly nuts. Now, if I had to throw out a prediction for what we could see next, I'm going to assume Lego is going to go the snail tank route. And I also wouldn't be shocked if we saw a crab droid in the very near future, if I'm being 100% honest, maybe in an Utapau style ATTE as like an extra side build. And a lot of people will be like, no, that's ridiculous. It is also a $140 set. The last ATTE was $90. So they have to make up room in there somewhere and quite honestly these guys came out back in 2018 uh, So I wouldn't be shocked if we saw these can make a return. Obviously, they're very popular They were popular enough to bring back a second time. So why not a third? I guess I honestly don't see the MTT coming back anytime soon They probably look at it as a brown blob It's from the Phantom Menace the last one didn't sell too well because they made it too small. Um, so yeah, that's just unfortunate. But either way, I want to know how many droids you guys have in your army. Is it two? Is it ten? Is it more than me? I want to hear it. But with that said, I'll see you all in the next one. Remember, peace out and stay awesome. <laughs>